And welcome to your Go Market update with me, Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets for the 14th of June 2022. Of course, we saw another US equities sell off last night, continuing that post inflation number route. And the S&P 500 is now officially moved into bear market territory, as well as just a continuation and fear gripping the markets. There is now the thinking that because of that inflation number, the Fed may raise rates by 0.75%, not the 0.5% that was priced in already in their decision, which will be released tomorrow. US futures are mildly higher in Asian trading, perhaps a little short covering. And Asian indices are obviously very weak following that Wall Street lead again. With the ASX closed yesterday, we're getting a double dose today. ASX is down around 5% at this stage into the trading day. European futures are obviously pointing lower. And the US dollar is continuing to move higher and now at levels not since 2003. Gold dropped significantly on that USD strength, so the flight to safety disappeared, certainly into precious metals. Last two support of the recent range it's been trading in and is eyeing 1800. It's currently trading around 1820, although it did test lower 1800s during the overnight session. Oil looked a little weaker earlier in the session yesterday, but made its way back up to 123, and the VIX is at monthly highs near the 34 level. That appears to be quite critical technically. One of the big stories yesterday was the continued significant sell off of cryptos. We talked yesterday about 25 being an important level, and it absolutely obliterated that currently trading mid 22,000 and is at 18 month lows. And this is across the board with cryptos. Ethereum is no different. Quite a lot for the market to digest in terms of data over the next couple of days. Obviously, we've got the big interest rate decision tomorrow and the narrative that goes along with that in Jerome Powell's press conference. We've also got UK jobs, German CPI and economic sentiment and importantly, US PPI all due today. So without a doubt, as we suggested yesterday, we are in a high risk market situation. A couple of charts to have a look at. Uh, first of all, if we look at the GB pound yen daily, this has dropped significantly over the last few days after failing to break this 167.80. has dropped almost 500 pips since then. You can see a test of 162, which is a key level here, here and here. During the overnight session in Asia, we've got a little bit of respite, but really not going very far, very fast. And that dramatic drop again, uh, reminiscent of a flight to safety because money is going into the yen could present an opportunity here if, if we break this pivot lower around right about 162.68 we could see a move down sharply back towards 162. Of course we had a look at Bitcoin yesterday in the session and worthwhile having a look at that again you can see it's in an oversold position absolutely got obliterated yesterday really close towards the lows of the session. What this means is from Friday's close, we are down 23%. There is the last time we're at this level. So we didn't even honor this gap. We just smashed on through it. And really 20,000 is looking very much on the cards. And we'll look at the daily chart. You can see that continuing sell off in Asia this morning, even on a short term chart. We don't look as though we're going to stop. We keep on moving lower. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.